Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hello again. So this is my channel. I love to do DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse and rustic, wreaths, and seasonal decor. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and Facebook. And you can also come watch me live every uh, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube or on my Facebook. So come follow me over there too. But today is all about summer fruits and our host is Rustic and Lace and Six Kids and a Glue Gun. So more about that in a minute, but first DIY number one. So the first DIY, I'm going to take some of these picks that I had in my stash and I've got these little lemons that I'm going to be using as well. I'm also going to be using some ribbon to make a bow and I'm going to be using some paints in different colors and then some of this paper vinyl from the Dollar Tree and that sign right there I made on my laser. So this is going to go to my craft show. If it doesn't sell, it will be in my Etsy shop, which is down below in the description box. So first thing I did is I taped down the center and I did it with the maize color by Waverly chalk paint that's the yellow and then I did black on top and then I'm gonna leave a space and I'm gonna move down just a little bit like just about the width of the tape that's why I put a little piece there first and I taped that off and then I'm gonna make two white stripes so I'm gonna do one there and then one underneath and then I'm going to take the vinyl and I traced out the bottom portion of the circle and I'm going to place that down after I cut it out with the buffalo check vinyl. And then of course I'm going to sand the edges to make sure it's all nice and cleaned off and those little pieces come off if it's hanging over. Next this is a um, another piece that goes on the thing. Now a lot of my footage went by. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it so I apologize. But you could see that I did the lemons and I did the green for the leaves and now I'm going to glue everything down and I also made this really pretty bow with some of the ribbon that I had. So I apologize. I don't know what happened. I thought it was recording and it probably wasn't. But it does say sweet summertime and if you guys are interested you can private message me and I will uh, make one for you if you'd like because these are going to be for sale in my um, Etsy shop like I said and that link is down below in my description box and then I'm taking the greenery and I'm just going to glue it on both ends of my bow just to make it look super extra pretty and I love lemons in the summertime you guys Lem lemons and bees are just my favorite and then I'm going to take these lemons that I got off of another pick and I'm just going to glue those down into the greenery and then of course I put a hanger on it and there it is you guys I think it turned out super cute what do you guys think um I did have these little flowers that were cut out that also come with it and I glued those on there as well and then I made this little um hanger with some buffalo checked um beads and some yellow and white ones and then I just tied them in a knot on each end so they don't come off and then I staple them to the back of my sign and there it is. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the description, I mean the comments. So today is all about summer fruits and of course I'm doing lemons. I told you guys these are our hosts. Their links will be down below in the description box along with my link to my channel. So make sure you go check everyone out. There's a playlist. Go check everyone out you guys. They are amazing ladies. So now I'm going to take another one that I cut out of my um, laser cutter and I'm going to have this one available as well in my Etsy shop and the first thing I'm going to do this one I'm going to stain the circle first so now my wood rounds I get at um, they're either Dollar Tree and I like glue two of them together to make them more durable or I used um, the rounds from Hobby Lobby that are a little bit bigger because you can't get these big ones at the um, Dollar Tree so and I stained it and then I wiped it, of course, with the antique wax. Now I'm going to make the pot look like it's galvanized. So I'm using steel paint by Waverly and also elephant gray. And I'm just using a sponge and I'm just dabbing it on. 
And I just keep going back and forth with those two colors till I get it the way I want it to look. And there it is. And I think it looks like metal. I like it. And then I did the um, leaves green, the lemons yellow, of course, with the same color. I used goldenrod, actually, for this one. Um, it was a goldenrod yellow color. And now these pieces are the pieces that come with it. So what it's going to do is you're going to glue these two pieces together first. And then you see the leaves there on the right-hand side. That little long piece is going to go and it's going to slide right in there. Now these are interchangeable, but I used it to stay permanent. But I can make it interchangeable if I want to. And I could change it up for the different seasons. With this typical file that I got on Etsy. And then it has a little uh, ribbon that goes on here as well. So I did that in white. And now I'm gonna glue down this long piece in the center and you'll see it just fits right in. And I'm using wood glue, uh, super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree and also hot glue. And I swear by that glue from the Dollar Tree, it works awesome. And then we're gonna start putting our little lemon slices on here. So I'm just going to glue this one goes right up against the pail looking like it's coming out. So it's going to look like you're dumping the pail and the lemons are just falling out. And I think it's adorable. I absolutely love this cut file. I think it's just amazing. And it's so pretty. And this one, I'm actually going to make one for my front door because I liked it so much. I want to make one for myself. So yeah. And then I just glued them down. And I used, like I said, the wood glue and also hot glue. And then I glued down everything. So there it is, all nice. And then it has a little sign that says hi. I made another bow. And I stuck that down there at the end of the pail there. And now I'm going to take a little bit of these green picks again that I had. I actually took these off of a wreath that I had. <laughs> and I'm going to stick those in there. And then this little flower that I think I got this flower at the Dollar Tree, actually. But it's really pretty. It goes really well with the everything. And there it is, you guys. I think this turned out so cute, too. I love it. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I really like the way this one looks, too. I think it's so pretty. So now DIY number three. So now this one is another one. <laughs> for your front door and this one is bees and lemons so what i'm going to do is it says hello spring and basically it's the same paints i'm using so now this time i use a darker green hunter green but this time i'm going to paint the um round with black ink paint by waverly we're going to do this one with black and white it's a little bit different and then the hello i'm going to do in black and the spring is going to be in black as well and this is another one that I cut out on my laser. So if you guys want it, message me and I can make one for you or I can give you the kit too. So I'm selling the kit or I'm selling it already made. And then I just did the little flowers in yellow and then I did the little leaves green in that hunter green color. And yes, then some of the flowers I did in white and the little tiny ones I did in yellow because they're going to glue. I'm going to glue the tiny ones on top of the um, white ones and vice versa. So then there's this. This is another round piece that has the scallop edges. And it also has the little bee trail that you see there that gets engraved on the wood. And I'm just going to um, paint this white. And then I'm going to see, make sure my placement is good because I made it a little bit smaller than the round so that it fits on there perfectly and it looks really good. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted the um, that part, that white part to come out a little bit more and I wanted it to look more like shiplap. So what I did is I took my dark antiquing wax, dark wax, not antiquing, sorry, and I just rub that on with some with my little uh, stencil brush, and then I rub my fingers along the edges. Now, if you get too much of this stuff, it rubs right off with a baby wipe, you guys. It'll rub it right in, and it just looks so cool. So I use this a lot on my projects, and if you come to my lives on Friday, you'll see me use this a lot because I like the rustic vintage look. I love the grunge look. So I didn't do too much grunge on this. I just wanted the burlap pieces to look like shiplap burlap, 
shiplap burlap, not burlap, shiplap. <laughs> and um, it's been a long day. I'm doing my voiceover on Easter, you guys. So it's been a long day for me. I got five kiddos. Um, yeah, so I'm just going along the edges. And I'm showing you basically a lot of this so you guys can see what you do with it. But this is in my Amazon shop if you guys are interested in getting um, some of this dark wax for yourself. But they also sell it at Lowe's and Home Depot. And then I go over the top of it a little bit and then I'm just smudging it with the baby wipe and I'm just doing a very light, very light with it. I don't want it to be dark. I want it to be white still. I just want it to look a little old and that's the look I'm going for. Now see I went a little heavy there so I just take my baby wipe and it smudges it in and makes it look all nice. And there we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing just on the edges like... Um, on the bottom and the top of the lemons because this is going to make them look you know even better too on uh, when I place them down on the actual round it just makes them stand out a little bit more instead of just being yellow and I did it on the hunter green um, leaves as well and now I'm going to glue them down with that super wood glue from Dollar Tree and then the hot glue and I'm just going to glue down each one. And see how you could see the shiplap now by using that dark wax? That's why I used it. Because I wanted them to stick out. I didn't want it to look like it was one piece. Because it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be like shiplap. So that's why I did that. And just make sure you line them up. And then I'm going to start gluing my leaves onto my lemons. And now if you want a kit with this one too, I can make you a kit. Or you can... um you can buy it already made. So just let me know if you guys are interested because these are really cool kits to make um, and super fun, super fun to make. I'm having so much fun with my laser machine. I just love it, you guys. It's made such a difference with my crafting and I'm just excited that I can make this stuff on my own now instead of buying it. And it's just really cool. But I wanna make these kits for you guys too and I wanna make them affordable. So they are very affordable. And then I just took a scrap piece of yellow uh, scrapbook paper and put that on the back of my bee. So it would peek through the, where the little black and stripes are. And now I'm gonna glue down my lemons and uh, my Hello Spring. And my spring, I did it kind of like wonky looking, I guess you could call it. Um, I didn't do it in perfect straight line. I just think it just makes it look, even look more interesting. So I kind of did one up, one down, sort of like that. And then I put my B at the end there where the little dotted lines are for his little trail. <laughs> and now I'm going to glue down my little flowers. And I just think this one, I don't know. I like the black and the white. I think it does look really beautiful on a front door. I mean especially like a white door because of the black background, I think it looks super cool. Any door really, I mean, you know. But there it is, you guys. You guys let me know what you think. But that is it. I hope you guys like everything. Go check everyone out in the playlist and check out our hosts. And yeah, go check out my Etsy shop. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these. You could private message me on Instagram, Facebook, or on um, here, YouTube. But let me know. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, remember, stay crafty. Bye.